Hello, my friends. I'm coming to you today with a V update, um, and here we are once again. We're more than six months into this whole adventure that all of us have been on. And I know that the question that most of you have is, when are we going to get back to normal? When can we come back into church? When are things going to return to the way they were? And I understand. <laughs> There's nothing that we would like better here from your staff at Living Lord than to return to something that's more familiar. But we are all in, as the experts have begun to tell us, what they call isolation fatigue. We're done with this. We're tired. I get it. Me too. But I also don't want to just blow off six months of really good behavior and do something reckless. We are looking at all the statistics and the best health information that we can get, including information from our Synod, the Centers for Disease Control, from the Illinois Health Department, from all the governmental agencies that are operating for all of our benefit. So what we're looking at in a lot of things is to keep our staff and everyone else in the safest possible environment. We know that we have been able to open up for some special services and we will continue to do that as we ease our way back into some kind of a corporate worship. We have had baptisms and baptismal parties here. We have had um, a funeral. We have had all of these things with some great care, some social distancing and very protective measures. Your staff and your council have been looking at this continually. We know that you're anxious to come back. But the building, I want to remind you, is not the church. You are. And so we ask that you continue to be the church in the world today. Wherever you gather, wherever you are in your home, we can continue to make that a worshipful time, offering ourselves up to God and in prayer for others. So I want to encourage you to continue that. My helpful suggestions for you right now as we continue to go through this time together are that you continue to make limited use of social media, that you continue to limit your time in looking at news reports. It's not to keep you uninformed, but not to immerse yourself in it so that it takes over your time. While it's still available, get out in the fresh air and walk. Enjoy the sunshine that we have on these occasional days and continue to do that in a safe manner with those that you have sort of isolated with in your bubble, your social bubble. We are looking at continuing to ease into some types of worship that will bring people into the building. We will be having later this month our confirmation service in some ways and respects, that's going to be an experiment for us. We don't want to do anything that endangers our staff, our musicians, our worship teams, or anyone else. As we look to those things and continue to plan for a corporate worship together, we continue to do our online worship. We want you to enjoy that, and so we value your feedback. Give us your suggestions and we'll try and incorporate what we can, but know, know that we have been planning these. We've been planning them now for six months and we're trying to incorporate as many things as we can. Why are you not hearing more organ music? Why are we not incorporating more of that? Well, it's because of the condition and the restrictions that our organists have. Some are not willing to come and play in public places. Some have continuing health problems of their own or in their immediate family. So we look for those things that we can do and what things we can incorporate technologically. Looking to record some things at times when the sanctuary is empty and only a musician and a recording person is here. And we'll be able to do that too. But also those require extra technology. If any of you are out there and can help us in our production or technology things that we need for broadcasting, we'd love to hear from you. We've been asking for a while now, but we truly do need assistance in broadcast capabilities and technology, production things and putting things together. 
So we need your help to continue to bring you quality worship online. As we continue to move through these months, please know we are holding you in prayer and we ask for the same from you, that you lift up this staff and our musicians and all who work in bringing you worship up in your prayers. Continue to do this and together we will make it through all of this. As the positivity rates seem to go down, we will be in a better position to look at continuing to invite people into, this, into the sanctuary for worship. At this time, we're limiting small groups. The only group that is meeting right now in the church building is our confirmation class. And they're split in three sections and meeting in different areas of the building, using different doors, employing all of the things that we know are working. Face masks, social distancing, continuing to, to make sure that everyone is in the safest possible environment. I know it's not easy. It's tough for all of us. And frankly, we're all tired of it. But hang in there, folks. And with the grace of God, we will all get through this together. Let's look out for ourselves and our neighbor and continue to be the people of God. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>